In today's video, I will be showing you how to detail your dash like this one right here. This is just a basic dash, so let's get into it. This is a dash from a 1955 Chevy Bel Air kit, the AMT one. I like to start off to make sure there is no flashing left on the dash at all. I take a file and sand it all off. I did not show this in this part, but that's what I do do. So just make sure there's no flashing at all around the edges or anywhere else. Just send it all off and make sure it's all smooth. Didn't show me spraying this dash right here. This is just a very light coat of black paint. I like to put very, very, very light coats of paint on this. You know, I don't want to hide any details. So I layer it up. I put about four coats of paint. As you can see, this is four coats of paint, but very, very light layers. You do not want to build the coats up to hide the detail. You just want to spray it very lightly. And apply this to any model dash. If the majority of your model dash is, say, yellow, spray the base, spray the whole dash yellow, then fill in the details. That's the easiest way to do it. Just spray the whole dash, airbrush it or hand paint it, and then fill in all the details later. That's how I learned to do it, and that's the easiest way for me. This is a very basic dash, but don't let a dash with more detail scare you away. Because it's just as easy as a basic one. This is what I use to detail the dash with, it's just toothpicks. I take the toothpick and sharpen it to a very fine point. That's how I get in all the little nooks and crannies on the dashboard. I don't think they make a paintbrush as fine as you can sharpen a toothpick. These things come in very handy. You can sharpen for any size you want. This side right here, I'm just going to sharpen it into a flat side. Kind of like a flat paintbrush. It works the same way. As you can see here, and I cut off the end of the frayed ends of it, so it's a nice fine flat point. Like a flathead screwdriver. And I, I'm using silver, silver paint. This dash is black and silver. This is a two color dash, but this applies to any dash. The same techniques applies to all dashes. But I do not cut the video much right here so you can see the whole process. So sit back and enjoy.
here's what it looks like so far and look here's the fine little gauges I will not be able to film them because I have to wear the head, a magnifier headset to see them to be able to paint them but you can see how fine they are and I will do that off camera here's when they're done I tried to detail the speedometer but it was so it was too fine of a detail and it just didn't look right so I just painted it the whole inside of the speedometer dash cluster um, silver I just use a silver metallic marker to paint the steering wheel here you can use silver paint or any color thing you want to use these markers just come in very handy I really like to use them when I, when I can and I made just one less paintbrush I have to wash if you just take your time detailing dashes is very easy but it's just time consuming and a lot of people don't want to take the time to do it and they think it's really hard but just take your time enjoy it and have fun the whole part of this model is to have fun here's what everywhere looks like I painted inside of the steering wheel black I also paint the little nuts around it black also I did that off camera but you can see it here this is where the dash looks like so far I'm using a satin varnish a water-based varnish I'm also using a wallet Neo with a 0.35 needle at 25 psi to finish it off you can use gloss or matte but I think the satin gives it a little bit more realistic look in real life the dashes ain't super shiny and they ain't matte all neither kind of like a satin finish I guess some dashes may be matte but a lot of them is like a satin here's the finished results that's completely done and varnished and I will install it but this is just a very simple dash just take your time if, if your dash is more complicated just take your time it all applies use toothpicks you can see you can just, uh, move the paint around getting all the fine details with just toothpicks you don't need nothing fancy but thanks for watching and really hope you enjoy this video hopefully this video helped you just don't let the dash work intimidate you just take your time enjoy the hobby and that's it that's all there's to it hope you have a good day Thank you for taking your time to watch my videos. It really means a lot.